why that just turned off. Well, I lost my bait here. I'm just gonna tie it on and try something else. Apparently that knot wasn't very good, so that's all right. Well, okay, the knot was good. It didn't break at the knot. All right, so. <clears throat> Ow. So I guess my knot tying skills are still on par. Just not my fish catching. Let me try a little weightless here. Got something smelling a little funky around here. Some burning something? Smell. I'm gonna try my weightless worm. Maybe that'll get their attention. I don't know. We'll find out though. Bend the hook too badly. I gotta re bend that hook back out or back in. Hold on. I believe those. Oh, I freaking did. Really? Make some noise that way. See, this is what I got. Bought that on my $20 challenge. Alright. Well, that went very swimmingly. This is my luck with anything I use with treble hooks. Uh, that's deep in there. Freaking kidding me? It's like I'm catching everything but fish. This is ridiculous. I said I can't throw it in there without snagging a freaking piece of wood or leaf. That's why I don't use treble hooks in here. I'm 
trying, you know, I want to try this bait out, but frick, I'm catching everything but what I'm here after. Face is cold. Of course, you have to swing all the way around that motherfucker. Why not? It's been around it seven times. No way that that just happened. No, damn it. He came up and just hammered it. Damn. It wasn't very big, but damn. I was trying to land him real quick. Oh. Had him. He came up and hammered it too. Probably gonna be my only bite. Like I was getting ready to pull my bait out of the water. Like that's how close I was to the bank before he hit it. And I seen him come up right before I took my bait out of the water. But then by that time it was too late. Like it, it just took it and it was trying to run with it and I set the hook too too fast I almost had him he was on the freaking ah oh, man that just chaps my ass right there I almost had him I don't know I don't even know if you guys even seen it I really don't I'm gonna take a look at the footage when I get home That's the second time a fish has come and hit my bait right at the bank at this exact spot. Well, there was a fish that I just scared and poked myself in the freaking face. I don't know what kind of fish it was.
right, everybody, that's going to conclude my day here. Um, I didn't record an intro video because I figured I wasn't going to be out here very long, so I just wanted to kind of get to fishing. And I wasn't sure how well I was going to do to even make an, or do it. I, didn't, I wasn't sure if I was going to be here long enough to even really make content. It wasn't a very exciting day. It was really cold. My hands are numb. Um, it just wasn't... Uh, I got that one bite. It just wasn't an all-around good day. I'm going to debate on whether I'm going to post this or not. Just for the simple fact, because I don't want it to... Like, my channel to be just about, oh, I go out every time I fish, I catch I catch a fish. Because that's not how it works in my life. Um, maybe somebody else's, they can go out and catch a fish every time they go out, but not mine. Um, but, because I want mine to be more realistic. I think I'm just going to post it anyways. And, you know, show my struggle of the day once again. It just seems like every time I go out, I struggle. Because that's just, that's just how it goes when I fish. But I'm going to go ahead and just post it. And it had a smidge bit of excitement in it. Nothing much. But I'm just going to go ahead and post it. And uh, show you on the days that I don't catch something. What happens. It either goes completely right or it goes completely wrong. There is no in between. There's no, oh, I went out and had a good day but I just didn't catch anything. Nah, that's just not how I work. That's not how I, I operate. Is either I, I do really bad and I'm casting in every tree that I possibly see, or, you know, I actually manage to catch a fish and, you know. So just go ahead and comment down below and just give me some suggestions. Tell me how you liked the video. Tell me how you didn't like the video. Let me know so I can possibly make changes and do stuff better. I'm still working on my editing. I'm still working on um, my filming. Like I said, I am no photographer i've only been doing this not even a year i've never i don't have any whatsoever film experience editing experience I, no one has taught me anything everything i've ever had to learn is on youtube I, I learned it on youtube essentially so you know you gotta take that with a grain of salt the more i put out videos the video quality is going to improve some hopefully me talking to the camera gets a little uh a little easier to do because sometimes i do forget um, the camera's on my chest, so I don't talk a lot. I'm just, I'm in the moment. I'm just in there casting and casting and casting, and I forget to, you know, mention what I'm doing, uh, what I'm throwing, and just, just how I'm working. I just forget to talk sometimes when the camera's on me, because I'm still not used to it. I'm still not used to talking to it. I'm still not used to having it on me. I've only been doing it for a year. I've always been more of the camera shy type. I've just never, never really been into, I don't even really like taking, getting my picture taken, to be honest. So when I was fishing the water, I had a rattle trap on. I was getting ready to bring it out. I saw that fish just swim up and hit it like, but my reaction time was just like, oh, it hit it, set the hook. I should have wait for it to take it and then run with it. You know, that's, that's what I took from today. I got too anxious. I saw it as it was coming up. And it was about, I saw it when it latched on to it. So my, yeah, my instinct was just to set the hook and I should have waited. I, I could have got a better hook set into it because as soon as it grabbed it, I set the hook and it wasn't, it wasn't hooked very great. And a part that was, that was on me, but I tried to go in for it. I was about ready to dive in that freaking cold water for that thing, but I didn't land it. So all in all, it's a lesson learned. I'm going to take it like it is, and then next time I go out, if that happens again, I'll know. So I'm just going to go ahead and end this video. Probably going to be a short video. So I appreciate you guys for watching. I appreciate everybody who subscribed and, and likes my videos. Or go ahead and um, like my video if you do. Um, go ahead and dislike it if you don't like it. It lets me know if I'm putting out decent content or okay content. You know, when I get feedback and stuff like that, it's it, it's, it's nice. It, it really is. It's kind of nice when people comment and say good things and stuff like that. It it, it, it brings it brings you up. It makes you want to keep putting out more and more. Um, so I'd really appreciate it if you guys can like and sub if you haven't already. You you be doing me a solid. So I appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching, Behemoth Fish Chaser. 
And until next time, I'll see you guys on another episode. Later.